So let us suppose you want to know your rank in GE 2025. You just need to subtract the percentile you got in your exam first attempt as of now. 1615 for other state and top branches you can get it for 2500 to 7200 and the last branch reached to 27,766. Hello everyone. So on your request, I have come up over here with the list of NITs and their respective cutoffs. So in this video, I'll be dealing with three important parts. Number one, the general admission processes for NITs. Number two, for the CSC cutoff, the top branches cutoff for each and individual NIT. And third is the other cutoffs required for the other important branches. These three things we'll be covering very soon. Here is the list of all 32 NITs in India. So these are the list of three tier one, tier two, tier three NITs. These three NITs have been segregated on the basis of their infrastructure, list of faculties, their student strength, and also the list of their placements every year they have. They have been segregated as tier one, tier two, and tier three. Also on the basis of the city they are uh, right now in. So before moving further, let me reveal a very big announcement over here. First March of 2025 is not gonna to be a regular day. In fact, it is going to be a huge event for all of you. So we are bringing India's largest uh, event, which is Aramb. And you can go to our J Nexus Bayan Academy, go there to the home page and just notify me so that you can get the video on time. Now you can watch the video. So this tier one, tier two, tier three includes total 32 NITs. This is the first thing that is the general admission process so right after qualifying your JE main 2025. For any of the uh, NIT you want to pick for, you have two options. One of them is the home state quota, another one is other state quota. So belong, uh, let's suppose I belong to Jaipur, which is in Rajasthan and I have uh, qualified for JE and uh, let's suppose there are 1000 seats available for this year of 2025. 500 seats are already reserved for the people who belong to Rajasthan and 500 which is home state quota and 500 the rest of the students from all India pan India can apply in that particular college out of these 50 50 percent if we talk about the categories we have general category the remaining one is the general category itself then we have general EWS economically weak student as 10 percent OBC will be 27 percent SC is 15 percent ST is 7.5 percent and physically disabled students are 5 percent in each of the category mentioned over here every college mandatorily should have 20% of at least female quota that is also for female reservation. Then we have the cutoff versus the branches options and how can we do it? So for that, first of very all, these are the J main qualifying cutoffs as per NTA in 2020, 21, 22 and 23. For general PWD, EWS, NCL, OBC, SCST, this has been given individually for each of every category wise to you. However, this percentile based data will not be very much helpful for us in order to identify the cutoff as of now because percentile may vary, your marks may vary, but the only thing that may remain uh, constantly or near to each other is the rank and that is what we are considering as a cutoff. So first of all, let me take you to the rank. So rank versus percentile on the basis of these percentile 19.9 .9 was achieved in 1665 in uh, 2024. 19.8 was for 3243 rank in 2024. So this is the data. But I would like to give you one simple formula to identify your rank. So if you want to know your rank, so let us suppose you want to know your rank in GE 2025. You just need to subtract the percentile you got in your exam first attempt as of now. Divide by 100 and multiply the total number of aspirants which is 16 lakh, nearly 16 lakh. So around guys, this, this will be your final uh, rank uh, it's a tentative rank you can get it so percentile 100 minor percentile into 16,000 that's how you can predict your rank now using that rank we can we can basically go to cutoff uh, cutoff required for individual colleges now I'll talk you about the uh, tier 1 colleges and their cutoffs okay let us take first NIT Trichy uh, ranked as number one among the NITs so NIT 3 in 2024, if we talk about the rank for other state was 1224 for CSE and 5066 for the home state. It's a big difference, by the way. And for other branches also have been mentioned. For EC, this was 3546, 37036 in 
EC and marks were 190 to 276. Again, I said marks and percentile may vary, but rank will be nearby only what you will be getting right now or the previous which has get uh, in the previous year also what you have got. So now guys, the important part of this entire thing is I am also gonna to uh, mark this PPT in the description itself. So this PDF you can download and can see and can check your own uh, cut off and as per your own convenience what college you wanna prefer for or what branch you wanna opt for okay so you ultimately found that for branch the other state csc branch has one two two four the top branches are available up to 9300 up to 93 and the last branch closed at 24286 let's have nit trichy we have other branches nit trichy we have the earlier NIT 2024. This is for 2023. Again, you can find out the data is quite nearby 1509. Earlier it was 1224. Uh, okay. So then EC, this is 4642 for these marks. Marks you cannot uh, include as of now. As I told you, marks cannot give you the exact idea and marks as well as percentile can vary, but ranks will remain the same. Similar kind of so the production energy in 20,000 uh, the rank reached to 226,853 for home state quota <laughs> let's come to an IT suratkal in 2024 i have also noticed this pattern that in 2024 and 2025 paper is quite similar number of aspirants are quite nearby so you can assume that rank ranks will be already nearby with a with a like delta of around uh, 2 to 5 percent but not beyond that so we can take an idea like what uh, branch can be secured at what rank and at the suratkal 1615 was the rank for CSE required for the state and 2993 for uh, home state quota other branches along with their uh, marks uh, ranks have been given over here so you got your CSE at 1615 for other state and top branches you can get it for 2500 to 7200 and the last branch is to 27766 so that's what I'm saying that around 40 to 50,000 student up to 40,000 ranks you can easily get a very good NIT up to 40,000 rank but if you go beyond to that then you need to explore it you need to explore it properly and you need to apply for it because I remember in many of the TA3 colleges you even uh, a good good set of ranks can be obtained a good set of branch can be opted for even one lakh rank that I have seen okay and we'll come to some of the examples as such this is the data from 2023 for NIT Suratkal for NIT Suratkal the CSC went 19844 other state for home state it was 3406 and AI this was 2318 and 3446 other state and home state respectively you need to match your data with 2024 because 2025 and 24 patterns are quite similar let me take you to the next college is NIT Warangal. NIT Warangal had CSC at 2186 for other state and 2804 for the home state. Oh my god, that is a huge competition, seems like. So, guys, uh, uh, the last branch was filled at 30,707. Now, NIT Warangal, we talk about the 2023 data. So, CSC obtained for 2413, 3115 for home state. And mathematics and computing branches, ECE, ECE, uh, design and tech, triple E branch, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering can be obtained. And you can obtain the last branch up to 40,209, 40,000, up to 40,000 rank you got secured your biotechnology. Next is uh, NIT Raurkela. So, NIT Raurkela is... CSC went to 2940 for other state. For home state, there was quite big relief, 7807. Marks we can't consider as of now, but 200 to 271 marks were required by that time. Then AI, ECE, electrical, every branch is over here other than CSC. Talking about overall their branch distribution versus the cutoff, 2940 for other state was required to qualify for CSC. And then top branches can be obtained up to 11,000 rank. And the last branch went to 41605, 41,605. Probably this is for biotechnology or food processing engineering as yes, food processing engineer was there from which 50,000 rank went around next is NIT uh, Raurkela this data is for 2023 and uh, make your match with 2024 data pretty similar exam patterns have been seen and uh, this is MNIT MNIT Allahabad so this is uh, the NIT of Allahabad there and uh, Uttar Pradesh. So CSC branch went 
CSC at a cutoff 419, 4191 and high year, home state quota was home state rank was 5943 for here. Then uh, we have ECE, triple E, computational, mechanical. These were the very similar branches and CSC no doubt is comes on the top of the branches. And uh, the last branch went there was around 38,000. This is a data of 2024. Now coming to 2023 data, we have these match number of uh, branches available over there. And uh, this is the final branch we reached over there as a home state, 35,000 around. And for other state also it was 35. Uh, and this is the only reason because biotechnology is the branch that usually people do not obtain they do not basically go for this and usually they follow the uh, usual branches CSEC, engineering mechanical chemical simil like that just thinking of the other options available in the future let's have nit calicut for 2024 the other state quota the other state rank was double four eight two and home state was nine two seven one which is a very good relief for the home state student for ec triple e engineering mechanical so many things are here and uh, the last branch the last branch went on a rank of 35000 around 35922 36000 around it went and this is the data from 2023 for nit calicut so nit calicut in 2023 csc ec this data has been given which is quite similar to the previous data but yes the pattern exam pattern has been changed and uh, according to that even the number of aspirants have been changed from past year so i must say that from 2024 and 2025 is going to be quite similar uh, follow that there could be a margin of 2 to 0.5 to 5 percent but including that you can get an idea of what rank you right now are pursuing with the formula and where can you match your rank with next comes your nit jaipur which is malvia national institute of technology jaipur for csc the rank over there home state it is 5435 which is a good uh, competitive rank and for other state it is 4711 and uh, ai and data science branches ece electrical engineering mechanical chemical civil metallurgy and the last branch went to around 40000 around 40000 and this is all i'm talking about tier 1 uh, nits right so this is the data 2024 for the remaining number of branches and for 2020 I think this was for 2023. This is 2023. Yes. Next is VNIT Nagpur, and this is 2024 data. Says that a CSC branch was obtained at 5,795 rank, uh, up to their rank, and 7,583 rank up to uh, this was your home state rank. The last branch rank over there went to 45,000. So that is what I'm saying even up to 45,000 or even up to 50,000 you can score a tier 1 city but the branch matters a lot so those who have already made their plan those who have already prepared for their plan that they have to go only for uh, the one which they have decided they should opt relatively to the branch and the one those students are right now not have prepared that this branch will be good enough for me or we have not finalized what future we are uh, right now looking into they want to go with the time they want to go with the flow you should pick up good NIT with whatsoever with the branch over there just explore the branch try to work hard in that branch i must tell you the all of the students who are right now watching me that guys it is very important if you score well in first year there is an option of changing or switching the branches also that of, uh, that is a form that you have to fill at the beginning of your start of the first year itself but by the end of the first year or depending upon the marks you get and depending upon the vacant seats are available in the respective branch you opted for you can be shifted now let's come back to the VNIT Nagpur. VNIT Nagpur in 2023 had an open state CSC branch cutoff up to 7087 and in higher uh, home state it was 6916. So now the competition has begun over here and as we are moving from the uh, the top uh, top basically NIT colleges to the lower one we also see that the home state quota and this home state branch is also getting lesser because and that that is a difficulty level which we are right now feeling. So then we have NIT Kurukshetra in 2024. The data says CSC went up to 6000 for the state and for eight around 8500 for home state quota. The last branch went to 40,000 nearby. And uh, this is the other branches available over there 43,737. This is something which NIT Kurukshetra received at the as a last option. 
and anti rukshetra in 2023 data has been also given to us which we can also see accordingly then we have svnit surat svnit surat csc branch was opted for 7113 and home state it was 6827 rest of the branches data is given over here the last admission went for 47000 rank so that was a cumulative data guys and now let me give you a overall summary that if you want to opt for tier 1 other state quota other state quota for csc branch for nit trichy it is 1224 EWS at 201, OBC 369, SC 204, ST 123. These all are the ranks. The ranks have been decided as a factor, as a cutoff for qualifying for that particular branch in the respective NIT. So take an idea of this. There we have the same thing for home state also. For home state quota, if we talk about NIT 3G was open for 5066, up to 5066, EWS 4239 and uh, respectively like that. And even NIT Suratkal, Varangal, Raurkela. So, you might have seen all this data. Now, let me take you directly to the. So, that's it guys. Keep subscribe to us and uh, keep on watching us so that you will be highly updated about the next videos which we are going to bring very soon. All the very best for your J2025 journey and 2026 journey. So, stay tuned for such amazing content only on Unacademy J English. Let's crack it.